Hey, I'm Dev Pohalan and I'm heading up the sales here in Prosmo. So here at Prosmo, we offer a SaaS-based software solution for uh, vetting and casino operators um, to drive more conversions and higher level of engagement is to help operators convert more of the visitors hitting their site, uh, get the players to interact with the service more and, and basically pay, play more and, and, and hence increase the revenues and operating margins in the service. So this couldn't, from our point of view, be more relevant today uh, as the competition is ever increasing, marketing costs are spiraling uh, higher and higher all the time and then the regulated compliance um, rules are getting uh, tighter for, for advertising. So now in uh, 2019, we've, uh, we've come to a point where uh, the, the customer acquisition costs are, uh, have, have risen to a level that uh, for some of the operators that we talk to, even reaching break even uh, with those kind of acquisition costs, as well as the revolving door syndrome of customers having very short lifetimes, um, is making, uh, making the business really hard. So we see that it's really fundamental uh, for the operators to start looking at how they can drive uh, the conversion from the moment that the users or the visitors hit the website uh, to the place where they, they complete the registration and then complete the first deposit in a, in a very much a new way. So the, so the second thing right now is that um, what's going on in a lot of the technology industry and in online services is that the, the the, as, as the customer acquisition is hard, the, the service itself needs to become more of the sales channel. So once you have the, uh, the, 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 your customers in the service, then you really, really need to leverage that service as the channel of engaging with the customer to, to, to market and to engage the customer to, to uh, purchase more or, or play more within the service. And, and that can only be done when uh, the suggestions and the cues and the, and the, and the offers uh, are really personalized and tailored and made relevant for the people. And I guess thirdly, uh, it's really about leveraging um, the uh, abilities that you have with uh, artificial intelligence as well as machine learning to start really learning about your customers across the whole population of your customers and then finding the, the, the needle in the haystack, so to speak, to start to identify the lookalike audiences, the segments that have uh, different types of preferences, and then to start interact with them in, in, in those ways that are creating the best yield. But one of the key themes that we're talking to our customers about is the data-driven service development to, to get to a place where you can make more informed decisions about how you're developing your service. So one side um, in personalization, this is about experimentation with different kind of variations and seeing what works best and then driving the service to that direction. On another side, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the ability to use this automation uh, to, to drive the best possible proposals to your custom customers in an automated way. And I guess fundamentally it's, uh, it's, the, it's the sort of ability to, to come to a place where you can make really informed decisions uh, about how you, how you work with your business. So for instance, if you, you have a thousand games uh, available on your, on your casino and, and we know that uh, only few of them get played and, and some of them get very few plays. So is it because um, they, they haven't been marketed properly or people haven't found them or they are just fundamentally bad games? So personalization allows you to, to really find out uh, what, are the, what are the facts uh, and, uh, and, and experiment with all the, all the different options. Uh, if you're not yet looking into the capabilities of real-time leveraging this uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning technology, how to offer the next best things for the, for the, for the right people, uh, you're, you're missing, missing a trick there. Um, secondly, I think on the mobile experience, uh, the progressive web app technology that's, uh, that's, that's getting, uh, getting out there right now looks really interesting. So that, that uh, pretty much allows the operators to and, and, and anyone to, to have pretty much a native-like uh, experience without developing a native app, which could be a big opportunity to, to avoid some costs. And then um, thirdly, I, I, I have to say that it's, it's, it's really starting to look at the service as the channel of uh, engaging with the customers 
the channel of sales or marketing towards the customers to, to make the service such that it's all the time uh, uh, coming up with new things, uh, suggesting things, teaching, taking the customer to a journey where, where he really loves to come back.